So today is January 28th, 2019. And today's a interesting day because today is Data Privacy Day here in the United States and worldwide in some other places. They celebrate this day to kind of bring more awareness about the importance of data privacy, safeguarding all the data that you, you know, purposely give or mistakenly give sometimes to online sources. Uh, so let's go ahead and read a little bit about it here on staysafeonline.org. See, they have a specific page regarding uh, today. So they say here about Data Privacy Day, Data Privacy Day is an international effort held annually on the January 28th to create awareness about the importance of respecting privacy, safeguarding data, and enabling trust. So it says here also that uh, Data Privacy Day began in the United States and in Canada on January 28th uh, as an extension of the Data Protection Day celebra celebration in Europe. So as we know, in Europe, you know, they pass several... Um, um, several uh, i guess laws you can say like gdpr and uh so they're very you know a little bit more forward thinking about uh, protecting uh paid privacy um when it comes to online usage so now you know i'm not here to discuss the pros and cons of gdpr or anything like that but you know it's data privacy is something that we should all be trying to achieve in our day-to-day -day lives so, you know, being that it's January, it's being the first month of the year, you know, it's a good time to kind of have this in the back of our heads as we're going, you know, throughout the rest of the year. Sometimes we sign up for services that we don't know exactly what they're collecting from us. So it's a good time to kind of, you know, go through all those services that you have now and try to purge some of them that you're not using. So that's kind of why today is what's created uh, to kind of help you uh, keep that in the back of your head and kind of go through those services that you may, you may not be using anymore, but they may still be collecting data from you. So it's just one of those days that help, you know, bring awareness to that. So in a conjunction with that, you know, I'd like to show you guys over here on uh, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. You know, they have a website, you know, they're on their website. They have a, a page that, you know, basically talks about uh, here are some of the tools that people uh, have either created that help protect your privacy online or um, at least show you where, where things may be, you know, uh, little weak spots in your own day-to-day -day, uh, life where privacy may be um, taken away from you and things like that. So one of the biggest ones that uh, a lot of people tend to use is their little browser add-on here, the Privacy Badger. And it helps uh, stop or at least, um, you know, like prevent um, tracking uh, from like, you know, for example, Facebook. Uh, if you didn't know, Facebook has put a super cookie on your uh, browser and basically starts kind of like, you know, looking through your browsing history and seeing what you're browsing. And they do this in a sense so they can better tailor ads to you when you're browsing through their feed. Um, so this is why like when you're shopping for shoes somewhere, um, you go back to Facebook and all of a sudden you see the same ad for it on your Facebook feed. It's because they're tracking you through through all that kind of stuff. If you were to add this privacy badger, that would be one layer that would help protect you against that type of uh, invasive tracking. Um, things like HTTPS everywhere also helps because it helps encrypt the traffic that's going from website to website. Uh, some websites do not have uh, HTTPS set up. So adding this, it, it just makes sure that whatever website, if it does, have HTTPS that it enforces it and it encrypts the traffic that's going between you and and the, and the site you're visiting and of course it's available on all major uh, browsers even on Android and of course they have other little things here but another interesting thing that they have here is the surveillance self-defense so here is basically like a, a collection of tutorials that help basically secure you online so if you're going to teach yourself about security, um, especially uh, protecting your privacy online, this is a good place to kind of go and check this out. So the website for this is ssd.eff.org. So you can go there and check it out. Check out the little uh, guides that they have there. Uh, one, one here that I would uh, suggest that you go check out is protecting yourself on social networks. Um, a lot of times, you know, we just sign up for these social networks and we just... You don't read the the EULAs on there and we just click, yeah, go ahead and do whatever it is that you want. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's 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 obviously something that we shouldn't be doing. Uh, we should definitely be reading, you know, the terms of services and th things that we sign up for. But over here, it kind of walks you a little bit through uh, the things that, you know, some social networks may be collecting about you and how to you know best protect yourself, how to check their social media pr uh, sites privacy policy, how to change your privacy settings. And it goes, you know, step by step on how to do that on some social networks. So it's a, it's a good thing to keep in mind. 
you know, uh, not, and today, uh, being that it's State of Privacy Day, um, if you run a business as well, it's one of those things that you should be, you know, running through your employees. You know, some businesses do not allow for you to so- use social media um, while you're working. Uh, others, it's actually absolutely essential that you use the social media while you're working. So, but it's one of those things that you have to kind of, uh, you know, walk the fine line there. So help protect yourself uh, online, you know, from all kinds of things, that are, you know, cybercrime and all that kind of things. So kind of follow along these little things and you can help protect yourself uh, online by doing all these things. And okay. And again, so uh, today is a really good day to do it because it's Data Privacy Day. So go ahead and take, you know, at least one hour out of your day or at least 15 minutes and read through these articles and maybe just implement one of these things. You know, I suggest if you want to start something easy, just install the Privacy Badger. That's an easy little thing that you can do. And it doesn't take any more than 15 minutes to do it. So, all right. Uh, Thank you all for coming in and listening to me talk. (laughs) If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe now. Uh, If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And comment below about what some of the things that you do to protect yourself online and uh, how you may celebrate uh, Data Privacy Day. 